So, what did we learn today about ESPN analysts? Majority of them hate primetime. Majority of them can't stand Colorado new rise to fame. And it's for one particular reason. I'm not going to get into that. And it is about complexion of protection. But ESPN analysts such as Tom Luganbill, and it wasn't just him. But Tom Luganbill started the week off by saying that Colorado Buffaloes got the worst roster in college football. The worst. Not the fifth worst, but the worst. That's what he said. This is a national analyst. Who says that about any team to begin with? Unprofessional. And the reason why it was unprofessional, you got to remember, they've been heading on them boys for a minute now, man. And that's my kids and their friends playing. Ignore it. It's a good day to be alive and, and feeling rejuvenated. Speaking of rejuvenated, there's a reason ESPN is the worst, worst program to watch sports worst program to listen to talking heads because majority of espn analysts they don't know nothing about football nothing about sports i've tried to take tom luganbill serious over the years he's always had some type of issue with guys who look like me and i'm not going to get into that but it's facts Lug tom luganbill is the one who drooled over zach wilson when i knew zach wilson was not even a fourth round pick He's the same guy that took a dirt on guys like Justin Fields. And like I've never listened to the opinion of Tom Luganville. He belongs to the good old boys club, you know, who got the white sheets covering their faces. That's where he belongs in. Then you had another ESPN analyst who's talking about them boys going to lose by 50 points. That's what he said. Uh, you got another one who said Shador. This is from ESPN analyst. I'm going to put all the links. He said Shador. Is just here because Dion saved him. He's really not legitimate enough to play these type of divisions and levels of football. Well, Shador just broke a Colorado record. Five, 500 yards passing, no interceptions. And what they're going to say now, they're still going to hate. I'm here to let you know, Dion and Colorado could win 11 games in a row. That first loss, them boys going to face... The whole world going to try to hate on them. And it's for one reason, and we know it. I've never seen a group of individuals such as ESPN put resources to try to break down college kids. Even if you hate Deion Sanders, which is a weird reason for them to hate him. But I ain't never seen guys get together just to be like, we don't like this team. We don't, we don't respect this team. I mean, if any more disrespect you can get than an analyst saying this is the worst rock and that came from left field why would you even say something like that as if you were waiting for your moment you could have said that in the beginning of the uh, um spring practices or the beginning of the summer practices you waited a couple of days before their first game because you want to demoralize them you was hoping you can destroy their confidence but if it was an analyst who looked like me and said it about a team that looks like tom luganbill they would have called us the worst people in the world can you imagine if Deion sanders said that about any other team what would they, what the, the the media outlets out here would be bombarding them of haters and saying all that about him and prime came through and said i'm keeping receipts on all you more you feel me? I'm keeping them receipts. Now Tom Luganbill talking about go ahead, pour it on me. Bro, that ain't even a real apology because you're fake, bro. ESPN should fire you like the rest of the pundits. And ESPN is a dying brand anyways. In case you didn't notice, look at the ESPN Disney and Spectrum situation. Y'all trying to put it on Spectrum only. Yes, cable is dying, but it's also ESPN as well. Man, it's outdated. Your analysts need to be fired. You can hire a bum on Fifth Street to do a better service than what they provided just now. It's just been haterade all year since Dion took the job. Them same analysts was the ones giving Dion props for JSU. But now when Dion's going to their beloved schools and going, he's going to be beating their beloved schools as well. You know, people who look like them, they, they can't stand it. And I'm here to be like, man, we here, bro. And it is a we, we as a whole, we're all in unity, bro. And we're not even Colorado fans like that. But Dion made us Colorado fans for one reason. It's us versus the world. And it's going to be that way, man. It, it, to see the diversity, diversity amongst Colorado, you should love that. But all they see is that darkness. And that darkness blinds them. That darkness makes them uncomfortable. That darkness intimidates them. So to see prime doing his thing, they, they falter to it at the sight of seeing a man, a proud father, a proud leader, leader of men and women. They don't tell you that part. 
So he has to come out because ESPN is a watered down sports channel. It's not really about sports. He has to come and tell you this is the worst roster in the world. And it wasn't just him. A lot of these ESPN pundits echoed the same sentiments. I give props to professionals like Joe Clack. He is from Colorado, at least played for them. But he wasn't biased at all. When it came time for him to critique Deion Sanders in Colorado, he did it professionally. But when it came time to give them their flowers, he absolutely did it too. And they don't give him his props for that. Joe Clatt is the best thing that ESPN ever had that they lost. You feel me? Um, I, I just feel like guys like that don't get their flowers a lot because Joe Clatt is a dog. He's a man's man. You feel me? He's something that represents what football is and what football needs. But when you got wash up hacks like Tom Luganbill. What 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 he played arena football? I don't even think he was worthy. You you don't have a jacket. You're not on the level of Deion Sanders, but they always think they know. These guys get paid the millions. These guys who don't know nothing about football. I remember Floor Mayweather uncle used to say they don't know shit about boxing. You feel me? Well these ESPN pundits don't know shit about football. They don't know none at all. And you see it every day. They just get on television and they talk. They just literally say anything as they go. That's the same man, Tom Luganbill. I seen him say Boise State was the best team in college football last year. And they wasn't. They wasn't. Why is that the case? Is it because of complexion of protection? You got damn right. That's the only thing it's been about. Should If Shador was a different shade of complexion, Tom Luganbill wouldn't write the comment he did today talking about go ahead, pour it on me. He would be on his knees saying, this is the best quarterback ever and all that extra like he did for Zach Wilson. He did that for Zach Wilson. That's the same guy. That's the same guy that told you um, when Chicago Bears pick, I forgot how to say that quarterback name, over uh, um, Watson, over Mahomes. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I can't say his name because his name is irrelevant. Tom Luganbill, Luganbill always go brazy over these washed up quarterbacks or these quarterbacks who can't hang. And, and, and he, he roots for these washed up coach who can't coach. These coaches who he tries to build them up. But when they came to prime in Colorado, you see the hate they got. Pay attention to it, y'all. Look, man, I'm your guy, DJ Blessed One. Love your family. Love your kids. Stay blessed. Tom Luganbill and all these good old boys club analysts, they only get on one accord. They hate on us for one reason. It's like back in the days when they wore their sheets to cover their faces. That's what you have there. But in this case, he can't hide. Shout out to the great white people who are telling him he should be fired because Colorado is building the nation together. You got different races, ethnicities of people galvanizing together, coming together so we can see the proud moment in, in sports history. You feel me? But it's always those group of good old boys and girls club who don't like seeing people get together, people winning, people destroying with traditional values that's not really for us. They don't like it. They get scared. And Prime did his thing, man. Salute to Prime. Shout out to everybody in Boulder. And you already know they're they not coming no more. They here.